Okay, so I'm guessing you clicked this video because you need help playing quarterback on Ultimate Football. Well, this video is just for you. Please subscribe to the channel because we're almost to 5K. Also, please leave a like on this video if it helps you. And if it doesn't help you, please leave a like anyway. So yeah, let's get right into it. By the way, this video has two parts. We have PC and we have controller. If you play on PC, just continue watching. But if you play on controller, skip to like, just look at the times and it should say like controller. So yeah, all right, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the range of like the ball throwing and stuff like that. Okay, so basically throw it like 85 for short ball zoom out and look up above his head and click above his head okay so in this next one basically it's not that far but it's kind of like in the middle but it's also a short ball so basically just zoom out you know what i'm saying and then watch this zoom in a little bit look down and then yeah throw it okay so in this next one i'm throwing it like up the middle like a little so i'm gonna have to throw a little higher so up your power to 90 when you're dealing with like middle balls look down zoom out and then there you go 90 but he would have got that but he didn't catch it so it's fine so basically i threw another one and that was straight to him but i think yeah there we go see that's perfect okay so right here you have to throw it 100 when you're throwing to the other end zone you have to you can't throw 85 across the end zone he would have got that but he didn't so i threw it again and i think he, yeah so yeah he gets this one i'm sure but basically oh no he didn't even get that one well basically yeah make sure you just throw it 100 when you're dealing with end zone okay so now i'm about to teach you guys how to like throw when the person is moving and like how to time it perfectly while they're moving because like a lot of people struggle with like diming it and they don't really know how to like dime while the person is moving so this is gonna help you so throw at 85 when it comes to short wait look up zoom you know what i'm saying zoom out and then like you have to time it perfectly so you gotta like you gotta like guess where he's gonna be you know what I'm saying? And then you just throw it. Okay, so on this one, you know what I'm saying? I um, threw it at 85 because it was a short ball. And then on this next one, I think I up it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I up it to 90. Yeah, wait. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I upped it to 90. Zoom out, look. And then there you go. But I threw it as an overthrow. Do you want to know why? It was because I had too much power. Actually, it wasn't even because I had too much power. It was because I was zoomed too. And see that? See, it doesn't even really matter about the power. It kind of matters about how far you zoom out when it comes to like throwing at 90. So watch this. I zoomed out some more, and there we go. Perfect. I zoomed in a little bit more, and then I threw it right to him. So like you gotta kind of mess with the zooms until you kind of get it right when it comes to playing on keyboard and mouse. But basically, like. I zoomed in just enough to like throw it to him and I kind of like clicked a little bit over his head. So right here, you're throwing at 100 obviously because it's deep. And I was right to him. I, I timed it perfectly and I threw it at 100. Okay, so these are some clips of like me playing like in an actual game just to show you guys that this is, you know, this works. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so on this clip, I threw it at a 95 because he was burning a little bit, but he missed it. But that would have been a perfect dime if I would have threw it at 90. That's why, like, you got to mess with the powers until you really understand it. Okay, so basically this right here, I threw it at 85. And then it was a dime, like, and it was a fit right over his head. So I basically threw it right to him. Perfect. Okay, so on this one right here, I threw it at 90 because he was already burning. Plus, he didn't really have um that much. He had a whole bunch of space, is what I'm trying to say. He had a whole bunch of space against the defender, so... I could just throw 90 and like I didn't really have to zoom out that much. Okay, so in this one I had to fit it across the defender. So I threw at 90, zoomed out, and looked like above his head a little bit more. So on this one, another 90 ball, zoom out some, and I kind of like click above his head. This was a toss up, but good thing the um, defender sold. But yeah, that was a little toss up. So basically, okay, so in this one right here, it was like end zone. So I had to throw it at like, I had, I had to throw it fast enough so it wouldn't get intercepted. Watch this. I threw it at 90 and I threw it right to him. The defender sold once again. But yeah, um, I threw it right to him basically. Okay, so this one right here, I threw it at 95 because I kind of wanted to make sure it went straight to him. I didn't want to get it in it. So you really can just mess with the powers. But you like when you're messing with the power. So for example, I threw it at 95. I didn't zoom out my screen all the way like I taught y'all in the beginning. Cause I knew I was throwing it like straight to him directly instead of like throwing it like across the map type stuff. So I knew it was gonna be right to him. And this was a perfect dime. That was at like 90, and that was a perfect dime. 90, 95, 90, 95 usually are like good dimes when it comes to like deep balls. But yeah, end zone ball right there, quick pass. You know, 
I up the power because I didn't want the defender to get it. So if y'all don't want the defender to get it, y'all can up the power. But if y'all want to just throw it slow, y'all dealing with a wide receiver who can't catch fast, just throw it a little slower. So yeah, this on um, this wide receiver was pretty good. So I threw it at 95. This was actually a real dime, like a real. So watch this. I threw it right above the defender's head, fit 95 above his head. Looked up, zoomed out, clicked like a little bit above his head. <clears throat> okay, so in this one, I kind of waited for him to get open. He got open, and then I threw it right above the defender. He couldn't even get it, guys. This is what I'm telling y'all. Like, what I'm teaching y'all, it should help y'all. So, yeah. Okay, when you're playing on controller, it's a whole different ball game. Like, this was kind of like, not really my first time playing controller, but I usually play keyboard and mouse when it comes to playing quarterback. But I don't see how you guys do it. It's so hard. I highly recommend y'all get, like, a mouse or something to zoom out y'all's screen because, like, it's so zoomed in. But yeah, so same thing for um, keyboard and mouse. Just zoom out 85 for low balls, 90 for like medium balls, and 95 to 100 when they count to the long range. So watch this. I throw it at 95. But the thing is, the difference between controller and keyboard and mouse. Controller, you have to look up so much higher. That's why I messed up a few times playing on controller because I was so used to keyboard and mouse. You have to look up so much higher. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you barely can see the wide receiver, but you kind of have to, like, not really guess. Like, when you see him run out for a route, you throw it above his head, depending on, like, where he's going. So, for example, all right, so he's about to hit, like, a little slant. So, when he hits this slant, I can't really see him. Like, when I, so, on this slant, I can see him, but watch this. So, on this next slant, I don't really see him. So, watch. This is what I do. I throw it at 90. And then I messed up, you know? So this is what you have to do to like not mess up. You have to look up higher and you have to up the power because controller is so much different. Okay, so I'm about to do a deep ball to show you guys. So he's about to hit a slant. Now watch this, I'm throwing at a hundred. And I, this was actually a dime, this was perfect. Okay, so honestly, yeah. It just really, you know, depends on how, like, far the person is. But for controller, you really have to look up a lot. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. One route I like to do on controller is combat routes. Combat routes do amazing on controller because, like, you're looking, like, straight at the person. And you don't really have to worry about taking a guess on, like, where he's at. And when you're zoomed out and looking down. Also, take a lot of runs. Controller throwing is kind of harder than keyboard and mouse. So take all the runs you can get. Whenever you can run, run. But yeah, so hit a lot of combat routes and slants because you want your person to get open. For example, my wide receiver did a combat route. He was right there wide open. Perfect. Threw it right to him. Um, fitting on controllers so much harder. This was kind of a fit, a little bit. So that was a little bit kind of a fit. So just throw a 95, zoom out, and look up. See, perfect. That was kind of like, not really a dime, but it was more of like wide receiver advantage. So the thing is, I learned about controller, throw fast, you know. Don't really take risk with deep balls. I mean, you can if you like are really experienced on playing on controller, but if you're new to throwing on controller, just wait till you really understand it. Then you can start doing deep balls. But for now, just, you know, do short balls like that. You know, 95, look up, and then wait till your wide receiver is open and throw it. But if you like already know how to play controller, do deep balls, you know, as you learn. So yeah, so for this one right here, he's getting pushed off the line, he's getting 2v1. So I have to wait till he gets open, and then he gets open, and I throw it right to him. So hit a lot of slants, like tell your wide receiver to hit a lot of slants and hit a lot of combat routes. Also take the run, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking the run. You're not a ball hog if you take the run. Taking the run is a really good thing to do. So this is an end zone ball, you know, so he gets open and not throw it. Cornerback sold, but we still got the touchdown. So yeah, if this video helped you, please leave a like on the video. Um, if it did help you, let me know in the comment section how it helped you. Okay, so yeah, leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in another video.